there have been many suspicious stories like, you know, the kidnapping of, of um, uh, Whitmore, Governor Whitmore, right? It turned out that the FBI was involved with that in some way. It's not out of the ordinary to, to uh, ask this question. And I just want to remind you of COINTELPRO because COINTELPRO is basically a, a program run by the FBI. It, it stands for Counterintelligence Program. And what the FBI would do, they would, they would send agents to join um, and infiltrate and sabotage various political movements and groups. So these are, you know, this includes feminist groups, uh, Marxist groups, communist groups, black liberation movements uh, like the Black Panther Party, and e even Martin Luther King, right? Even Martin Luther King, they had a file on this guy to blackmail him with. And, and, and wanted to kill him. And, I mean, I'm not making this up. You don't have to take my word for it. This is very common knowledge. And it's on the FBI's own website. It's on their website. Look, I, ha I have this pulled up. This is the first um, page from their COINTEL program on black extremists. Okay? I, this is just page one. And it is so disgusting what they have done. It is so disgusting. You can see they're set up all over the place. And, um, you know, they they're saying that their goal is to... Yeah, their efforts of these groups to consolidate their forces or to recruit new or youthful adherents must be frustrated. No opportunity should be missed to exploit through counterintelligence techniques the organizational and personal conflicts of the leaderships of the groups and where possible an effort should be made to capitalize upon existing conflicts between competing black nationalist organizations. When an opportunity is apparent to disrupt or neutralize black nationalist hate type organizations through the cooperation of established local news media contacts, uh, so basically, if we have a chance to smear somebody in the press, that's what that means. Or through such contact with sources available to the seat of government, in every instance, careful attention must be given to the proposal to ensure the targeted group is disrupted, ridiculed, or discredited through the publicity, um, and, and not merely uh, publicized. They were sur putting surveillance on, they don't even say black, they, 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 they say Negro. This is an FBI document, that's how they speak about black people in America, right? And... They say that um, when activity started with the appearance of known Negro extremists native to Philadelphia at uh, the, this residence, a full-time surveillance uh, by police went into effect. Police disruptive action was also initiated. Cars that stopped at this residence were checked as to license numbers. Uh, when they left the residence area, they were subject to car stops by uniformed police. The occupants were identified. They then became the target for harassment. They, they're, they're boasting. They're like, yeah, we, we literally harass people. That's it. We just harass them. And they give examples, right? Um, this guy was located passing um, out of, um, I can't read it because it's blacked out, but I think it says REM there. So, uh, uh, liter yeah, okay. He was caught passing out REM literature. That's what it says. So, you know, this could be books, pamphlets, whatever it is. It's, you know, he was waking people up. How dare he? That's basically what they're saying. Like, don't pass around literature. And then they call other countries authoritarian. Um, they interrogated this guy. He was arrested as a narcotics user on the basis of alleged needle marks. Alleged. So it, they don't even know if it's true. He was fingerprinted and photographed and then subsequently released by a magistrate. Any excuse for arrest was promptly implemented by arrest. Any possibility of neutralizing an REM activist was exercised. This is, dude, this is page number one. This is page number one of, of countless files, right? And of course, when, when we're talking about REM, I, I mean the Revolutionary Action Movement. So this is a very potent group because, um, you know, uh, uh, Huey Newton and, and I think um, Malcolm X was a member of it. It's, it really formed, uh, it was really a pioneer of the Black Liberation Movement in, in America in the 60s, right? Um, and I know in the files and officially they'll say, oh, well, these were extremists. They're, they are hateful. Um, that's not true. You're going to tell me Martin Luther King was hateful? They had a file this big on that guy. And they, they tried to like smear him as a sex addict or, or, or you know, uh, accuse him of committing adultery. You're going to tell me Martin Luther King was an extremist? I don't know a country on earth that doesn't have a park or a street named after that guy. And yet the FBI was, was, was trying to destroy him. And his reputation. So when they when they talk about extremists, don't believe them. They they it's just like they, to this day they use this to to attack people they don't like. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Look, this this is the first of of all twenty three documents. I, I bet you this is not even um, all of the documents. But if you go to the website, the FBI website, and you look at all of the declassified stuff.
Socialist Workers Party, Cuba, black extremists, the new left, white hate groups, espionage programs. This is all public. And you can see how vindictive and malicious they are. You know, they're, they're targeting people who want nothing more than to be treated like human beings with equal rights. It's that simple. I'll just read this to you also from PBS quickly. Right. So within one year of formation of the Black Panther Party, the FBI established a special counterintelligence program called COINTELPRO to neutralize political dissidents. Between 1956 and 71, the FBI used COINTELPRO to investigate, quote unquote, radical national political groups for intelligence that would lead to involvement of foreign enemies within these groups. Again, th this is a tactic, uh, you know, a, a, um, a classic um, uh, a smear. Right. So in order to justify the violation of uh, these people's human rights and constitutional rights they will accuse them of coll of colluding with foreign agents right they'll say oh well you know yeah you have freedom of movement and and and, and association and uh and speech in america but that group over there they look like they might be working with the cubans or the russians which is not even true right and so that that's how they'll they'll try and justify this this of course meant that the fbi specifically targeted american citizens According to COINTELPRO documents, five groups were singled out for investigation, the ones that I, I just read to you here, yeah? But the one that bore the brunt of the damage, or most of the damage, was, of course, the Black Panther Party. It, it, this is heartbreaking, right? Because you look at where did all of these people from the Black Panther Party end up? Half of them were put in jail. Uh, the other half were uh, smeared, and uh, some of them even shot and killed, right? Um, there, there, are, there are incidents. I'm, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach, honestly. I just want to tell you something with, with Huey Newton, okay? So he's one of the most prominent figures in the Black Liberation Movement. The same thing, they, they, they went in and, and shot this guy with Mark Clark, okay? They were 21 and 22. 21 and 22. The police went in while they were sleeping. 14 police opened fire on them. And then they, they said, oh, it was a drug bust. Do you know they filled that room with bullets? The, the walls, I mean, were like Swiss cheese. This, this is so malicious and, and spiteful and vindictive and cunning uh, and, and vile.